What is going on guys, Tiswafa here and welcome back to some more bug snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks. Now last time we left off, we actually did a lot of missions, like six or so missions in a relatively short episode, you know, in a shorter episode, uh, which was pretty good, as well as we actually found two new hats. I don't think either of them are actually here, right? Actually, what's the bucket hat? Yeah, I think the bucket hat was one of the hats that we found. Let's actually uh, go to dress. We got the propeller hat at the end of last episode. I didn't actually try this guy, this hat on before I ended off the episode, unfortunately, so this is what it looks like on a little shrappy there and a lollip over here. I guess we'll try it. Let's try it on the lollip because it's a little bit bigger. No, the hat's actually, <laughs> the lollip's is bigger, but the hat's like the same size as it is on the shrappy. That's kind of funny. What about on the spuddy over here? Actually, uh, yeah, it's just a regular old spuddy. What about the propeller hat on you? Oh yeah, look at that. It's a lot bigger right there. Cool. So, yeah, at least we're getting a better look. And yeah, there's even like a star at the very top of the propeller hat. I don't really tell too well. And then there's a white strabby right there, too. So this is pretty good here, you guys. Uh, now, last time we left off, we also... And by the way, we also found, like, a... We had a sighting of the Snack Squatch again. It seems like that happens, like, every time I play Bug Snacks. I think someone commented it was in Season 1, it was in Season 2, and now I guess in Season... I don't know, I don't know if you'd call this Season 3. It's, it's more of, like, an extension of Season 2, if you think about it, right? But anyways... How's it going? Hey, how's it going, Philbo? Uh, I do want to do more missions over here and try and get more decorations and all that kind of jazz. We do have a few missions already available. Oh, whoops. Already available. Darling, I think. So which one am I doing here? Oh, yeah. Transform a Grumpus into <laughs> to show all four peel bugs. So we need to find the green, the orange, the... I think there's a yellow. Let's look at the snacks or Bugopedia here real quick, though. Yeah, okay. There's a ruby peel bug. That's going to be in Flavor Falls. So there's one there. And then we got the orange one, of course, in Simmering Springs. I don't think I have any on me right now. And then we got a lime one over in Scorch Gorge or something like that, right? Yeah. Or green peel bug. So that's three, I believe, right? Oh, and then there's a yellow one over in uh, Sugar Pine Woods. Yeah, I knew there was a yellow one. I didn't know where it was on this, but okay. So there we go. We need to go to Sugar Pine Woods. We need to go to Flavor Falls, uh, Scorch Gorge, and Simmering Springs, I think it was, right? So we need to go to all those locations and grab a uh, peel bug, and that's going to finish up that mission for Wiggle, right? As well as there should be a mission here. Which one was it? The one with the snack pods? Was it for uh, Snorpy? Yeah, it is. I got a comment from you guys saying, yeah, all the snack pods are, they're not, they're, they reset after you catch all of them. So I guess if we go to Boiling Bay and get the last snack pods that are just kind of laying around, maybe when we go back there again, all the snack pods are going to reset and that for therefore all the snack pods are going to be available at the same time perhaps so if i go over here is this snack pod that's between these trees is this is this one still available here that's what i'm getting yeah it is snack pod. snack pod so that's that's one snack i think there's a second one somewhere so whenever they reset there's going to be one in that barrel one between the trees one at the the top of that ship over there so that's three so far that we know about oh oh and you guys, last episode, I was like, oh man, which which mission was it? Was it for Grandpa? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, he was, he was having nightmares and like Chandler was like shaking him and saying, go for gold. And he, he wants me to donate a gold bug snack to him. And I was like, man, what is this gold bug snack? You guys left comments saying it's Golden Queeble, right? It's the only one that has like gold in his name. He's got a golden spoon. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. So there he is right there. Oh, I didn't look at the bulls and board to see where the uh, next hat location is, unfortunately. But that's the Queeble right there. So we could probably just sit down regular snack trap maybe cover it in chocolate if we really want to but you know just make sure we don't spook him or anything like that right so there you go oh whoops i'm like we're in the chocolate area anyway so if i if i waste a little bit of chocolate here or there it's not that big of a deal but let's try and catch this golden qu oh there we go look at that he loves it and we got him we got him ha <laughs> ha weeble weeble <laughs> so that's going to be two missions here done at the same time so we're going to get the queeble mission done uh and there's a grape skeet right there uh, the Queeble mission done, and hopefully the Snack Pod mission for, I think it's Snorpy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, l let, me, let me figure out where the second or, uh, second Snack Pod is around here, because I thought there were two... Okay, so there's another one there. Ah, and then we got the Palaitas over here, too! Oh, yeah, someone commented saying... Oh, I think it was actually a Super Thanks saying to do this. Which, by the way, I need to give a uh, shout-out for Super Thanks again, but... That's one, two, three, four... We know four locations for the Snack Pods, then. So if that's the case, where's the fifth at? Where's, where's the fifth snack pot at? Was it over? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, up there. Okay, so we know where all of them are. So if I leave and come back or maybe snack, snack pod or maybe go to sleep and then come back or something like that. 
maybe they're all going to be in all five locations and I could do the Snorpy mission. And of course, I have to grab them all with the Snack Grappler because he wants to test the limits of the Snack Grappler, all that kind of jazz, right? Uh, but yeah, speaking of the Pal Palatos over there, let me give some shout outs for people who did super things on not only last episode, but the episode before last episode too. Because I had to like pre-record two episodes at once and I couldn't give shout outs. So a big thank you to Blackjack Giga, who did a $2 or actually $1.99 super thanks. And William L did a $2 super thanks. And SJ Gaming 64, 199 super thanks. Dante Boschoff did a 14 South African Rand super thanks. And Santiago Rivas did a $5 super thanks. So thank you guys all very much for supporting the channel on episode nine. And a big thank you to William L who did a $2 super thanks. And Yuki the Saiyajin did a $5 super thanks on episode 10. Thank you very much for that. Hopefully I'm not butchering anyone's names here. I'm <laughs> just trying to give shout outs. And we actually got a super thanks on a relatively old episode, we got a 299 Australian super thanks on episode 7 from Adzo78, a Syrup Squad member. So thank you very much, Adzo, for not only being a Syrup Squad member, but for the super thanks a few episodes ago on episode 7. So thank you guys all very much for your super thanks and supporting the channel. And if there's anyone else who wants to do a super thanks just like them and give some extra support for the channel, just click on the thanks icon below the video. It looks like a little heart with a dollar sign inside of it. And I'll give you guys a shout out on the next episode of Bug Snacks. But anyways, back to Bug Snacks. Uh, what time is it right now? 7.14. So I wonder if I... Do I need to leave the area? I, I'm, I'm going to leave the area, come back, maybe even go to bed or something like that over here in a, over here in a Grambles area. Did I get chocolate? Uh, there we go. So now we're maxed out. Uh, but let's go over here to Simmering Springs, you know, catch a peel bug. I think it was the orange peel bug, wasn't it? As well as to go to bed because we need to go to bed for that, uh, you know, to make time pass, to become another day, all that kind of jazz, just to make sure that we reset the snack pots over there. Uh, I did get a comment from someone saying to actually get the snack. Oh, <laughs> pie nature. And yeah, you see, this is the orange peel bug here. Uh, someone said to go over to Flavor Falls for the uh, for the mission. And oh, I didn't set the trap. There we go. Oh, peel bug. Oh, we got him. Awesome. Peel bug. Peel bug. So we got a little orange peel bug there. Uh, we need to get the orange or the yellow, the ruby, and the green. So, uh, anyways, uh, oh man, I was over I was over there by Grample's like hammock or whatever. I forgot to go sleep in it. <laughs> let's go sleep in it real quick. It's 8:05. Let's sleep until noon, I'd say. Hopefully, that's going to be enough time to pass for uh, this mission to or the snack pass to reset over here, right? So, oh, <laughs> we got the Sekiris over here too. So I wonder. Uh, oh yeah, we already saw what they looked like with the hat on. Yeah, because we we already donated one and it was wearing a hat over in Grample's farm. I forgot about that. But anyways, let's go to Boiling Bay. Let's get our snack grappler out. And then if the snack pods have reset, we need to catch them all in 30 seconds, I think. Yeah, there we go. Fruity snack pod there. Is there another? Yeah, fruity snack pod. That's two. Third one over there by that. Uh... Oh, you can barely see it right there. I'll zoom in on the video right there. That's number three. Number four we saw is inside the barrel. You can't see it right now. Uh, then number five is going to be inside the case. We need to do it all in, what, 30 seconds, I think, Scorpio wants me to do. So if we could catch five of them in under 30 seconds, Ah, oh, man, I wish I had some way to do a, a timer or whatever. I'll, I'll probably figure it out on screen while editing the video. But if I want to do the fastest, like, route, how am I going to do it? Am I going to go, am I going to start from here and then go to there and then go to there and then go to there and then go inside the cave? Can I do all that in 30 seconds or am I going to, I mean, it's all basically in a big circle if you think about it, right? So it doesn't matter where I start. So maybe, and I have to do it with a snack grappler, obviously. So I, oh, yeah, I, can, I can't just get him with the net. I have to use the snack grappler. Let me just double check on that. It doesn't really say I have to use. Yeah, it just says catch five snack pots in under 30 seconds. It doesn't say I have to use the snack grappler, but the snack grappler does make it easier. So anyways, uh, especially for this one right here, I can't even reach him unless I'm like right next to him. Yeah. So hopefully this counts. I hope this counts. Yep. Ah, oh, man, I caught him. I got the snack pot right there, but I didn't use the snack grappler. Hopefully it still counts, but that's number one. I don't know what the timer is out right now, but come on. Wait, what? What happened? Oh my gosh. There we go. Get the, there we go. That's number two. Hopefully we're still uh, making good time right now, but ah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. There we go. That's number three. Got a crapple right there. And hopefully I can grab that one at the very top there. Got him. Man, that's number four. It feels like we're making really good time right now. I don't know what our actual time is. Hopefully it still counts. There's another one right there. Snack bug. Snack bug. Ah! And I got hit. So, uh, did, did that work? Did I do the mission? I didn't get a thing on the screen. 
catch five snack pots in under 30 seconds. I hope that didn't hack it up whenever I... Like, like the snag grappler was like glitched or whatever. I was trying to catch her one between the trees. Man, I feel like it was. Either that or I have to use some hack it. Ah, now I'm on fire. Oh yeah, someone said something about like being on fire or something like that. And then like catching all the bug snack and in Gramble's form like on fire or something like that. I want to test that out. But man, I feel like either not grabbing that one with a snag grappler or like whatever happened over there. Or, I don't know. Uh, I'll figure out while editing the video whether or not I actually did that in under 30 seconds. Uh, but let, let's just grab the other peel bugs so we're, you know, at least being productive. So <laughs> let's go to Scorch Gorge. We'll go over to Flavor Falls. And I forgot what the, the, the forest area is called. Man. Uh, anyways, let's go over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's this one right here. So that's the entrance. Where's the exit at? Or I'm like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one is the entrance or the exit. Uh, so whichever one that I put the, there you go, the buggy ball in is going to be technically the entrance. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, so there you go. Put them inside there. And then we can go into there. There you go, Shrabby. All right, all right. So let's go back to the snack trap. And like I was trying to say it just a second ago, uh, remember last episode, we had to come over here with shy weenie worms and uh, cover them in ketchup. And I was like, well, I was wondering, like, what in the what was the point of that? <laughs> and you guys actually said there's like a oh, there we go. We got him. We got the green one. Awesome. Heel bug. Heel bug. <laughs> but because the shy weenie worm is basically a Chicago hot dog, uh, apparently you guys said it's like very frowned upon to, to put ketchup on a Chicago hot dog. So now, yes, you look at them. They've got everything but ketchup on them. I think there's onions, mustard. Is that relish or is that like a straight up just a pickle slice? I can't tell. Tomato. Of course, mustard there. Did I say mustard? I must have already. I, I think I already. <laughs> I mustard have already said that. Cut that out of the video. There's like a uh, interesting new bun too. Yeah. Oh, wow. And he, of course, he's shy. <laughs> he's running away in that, in that sense too. So it's kind of like a double meaning there is shy as in like he's afraid or whatever, as well as shy as in shy, shy cargo, <laughs> I guess you could say. So it's going to be peel bug number two. Let's go over to sugar pie woods. That's what it's called. Let's go over here. Let's go grab the, I think the yellow ones over here. So we just got the orange. We got the green. Yeah, this has got to be the yellow one because the, the ruby one, I think is in flavor falls. And where is it up here? Yeah, it is. But I, th I think the entrance, I think that's the entrance, obviously, right? So the exit would be, I think it's down here, isn't it? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah it is. And we got the bop, 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 sickles. Let's put the, ah, no. <laughs> put the snag trap on. Yeah, you know what? Let's make it easier. Put the buggy ball into this first. There you go. There we go. No. Ah, come on. <laughs> Sprout, just go inside. Go inside and spook him. Okay, let's hurry up. Is he, oh, he's still rolling. He's still rolling. He's still rolling. Come on. Go, 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 go. We've got a kooky back there, too. Am I going to be able to make it over here and put down a trap in time? I hope so. Come on. Yep, he's coming. Ow, we got him. We got the yellow one. We got him. Heel bug. Heel bug. <laughs> All right, let's go to, uh, yeah, let's go to Snacksburg first. Just because I'm, I'm very curious about where this next, especially because we're traveling all over the map right now. Where is the next hat location at? Let's see. Oh, it's in Boiling Bay. Okay, that's actually good. So while we're there, maybe we could uh, test or, or try, try and find the hat. And then I, I noticed this as well. What, what's happening here with Snorpy? What was this new invention? What's this? Something big is coming. The size seismometer is acting strangely. When conditions are just right, a major geological event is likely to happen. What? Complete all main quests on Frosted Peak. Chandler side quest. Oh, is this just the, uh, the big Isle of Big Snacks thing? Because I never saw this before. Complete all Snorpies. Yeah, because I had to complete all Snorpies and all the Chandlows and all the main quests on Frosted. But I had to do all those in order to go to, uh, what's it called? Broken Tooth Island. So that's a Snorpy. Yeah, I see he's not talking about it like, at all. So I wonder if that's just a holdover from, uh, you know, whenever they added the expansion, right? But anyways, what was I doing? I need to give someone. Oh, yeah. I put the Golden Queeble in here, I think, right? Let's give him the Golden Queeble. There you go. Awesome. And then uh, let's go to Flavor Falls. Yeah. So, William Bay. I don't know. I don't know if I have to fall asleep for that to reset. Maybe after Flavor Falls, we'll go back there and see if the snack pods are back. Because we did catch all five of them right there, right? And is this where the peel bug is going to be? I assume it is. Oh, he's already he's already in there. So where's the other side at? Is it just like right here? Yeah, it is. Oh, he's wandering. Oh, no. Peel bug. Ah, peel bug. Got him. How did I get him? Peel bug. 
peel bag. And we got that ruby peel bug there. That was crazy fast. Let's go back to Boiling Bay, though, just because I want to see if the snack pods are reset or uh, do I need to fall asleep and, you know, make a whole day pass first or what? Oh, yeah, look at that. The snack. Okay, the snack pods are back. Uh, my inventory. Can I just release the snack? Yeah, let's just release them. Yeah, I'll release the free because I'm about to capture like another five of them. So do that. And then once we get back to Snacksburg, let's make Cromdo's uh, everything but his limbs into peel bugs to do that for a uh, Wiggles mission. <laughs> that's going to be pretty fun. And uh, there you go. Cool. So that's all the snack pods gone. Uh, so I don't know. I feel like the, the water definitely slows you down, right? I'm able to grab that, that, that. Hopefully, hopefully whatever glitch that was that happened earlier, hopefully it doesn't happen again, but uh, let's just start right. Whenever it strikes, oh, 330. Okay, boom. We got the fruity snack pod right there. That's one. I don't know what the time is. I don't know what the time is. Let's just go, go, go. Boom, that's number two. I'm, go I'm going to go on the water here because I'm just going to assume that the water, or uh, I'm going to go on the land because I assume the water will slow you down. There you go. There's a crapple. Try to stay as close to land as possible. Ah, I didn't grab him. Man, man, how close do you have to get? There we go. Okay, I don't know what my time is, but I feel like we're faster. I don't know if jumping makes you any faster or maybe even slows you down, but uh. Snack pod. Snack pod. And yeah, we got him right there, you guys. Awesome. Oh yeah, I was doing shadows for super thanks, so I forgot to mention what that guy said. <laughs> You guys already saw it on the screen, but uh, one of them actually, one, one of the super thank, super thankers, I guess you could say, uh, said to use a bop, or not a bop, like a bop, but the Palatos to actually capture the Cappuccino over here, which is a really good suggestion, because we, like, look at this, he gets angry at us, he chases us, and he can go into water, I think? Yeah, he's able to go into water, so we could surely just bring it, oh, well, yeah, whenever he goes into water for too long, he, like, he's about to split now. Ooh, that might be kind of tough now I think about it, but yeah, we, we can still make him run in to the cappuccino and stun him, right? Yeah, we don't need him to still be like frozen. Yeah, see, we have like a lot of time. We were able to bring him all the way over to here. And something just got hit by the crapple. What, what happened there? Oh, yeah, something. A crapple. We caught another crapple. What? <laughs> you kidding me? Oh, wait. Is that pull? I don't I wasn't even looking at the plate off. Because we remember there, there's something around here with a hat on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if it's any of the Benoppers. I don't know how much footage I'm going to have to cut out of this. Red Benop yeah, I don't know if that Red Benopper was wearing a hat either, but hey, at least we got another mission done right there. Uh, let's just go back to Snacksburg. Uh, what time is it right now? I don't know if Kromdo's just going to be roaming around or anything like that for us to just <laughs> turn all of his non, everything that's not a limb into peel bug. Uh, let's see, where is he? Doesn't he usually, yeah, he hangs up there by my, uh, my sail, my boat, hot air boat thing. <laughs> so here you go, Kromdo. Let's turn everything except for your arms and legs into peel bugs. So whoop. green peel bug. Yeah, let's let's do ruby peel bug for his body because he's already like red. Uh, ruby or green. Sure. For a horn. Oh, it is like a lime slice. I guess this is going to be a lemon slice here. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Or orange slice, I guess. Yeah. And then a peel bug right there. I don't know. Nose. <laughs> it just got a lemon nose. Wait, didn't Floofty have like a lemon or was it Floofty or was it someone else? Someone had like an actual lemon nose at one point in time. I forgot who it was. <laughs> and then a uh, ruby peel bug for your body. Yeah, see, it's basically the same thing as the flame hot cheap poof, just smoother. And yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kromdo. Kromdo's just a butt of our joke. Turn him into all this stuff. Uh, anyways, and yeah, Kromdo, yeah, he has a mission on him to do the, uh, which one was it? The Masa Supreme. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I have to donate anything over here. Masa, Su Masa Supreme Boss. So uh, maybe a little bit later we could do that. I don't know about this episode. We're running out of time. I don't know how much footage I'm going to cut out. But yeah, this one right here. So what do I have to do? Do I have to, I, I guess it just check on my mail because it's got the check mark on it. With oh, oh yeah, 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 we have two missions for Wiggle. Yeah, one of them wants to do the peel bug one and then uh, one to find. Yeah, so that one's finished. I guess we could do this. Go out to uh, whatever it's called. Uh, what in the world? I can't pull. There you go. Pull the map. Let's go out to uh, Simmering Springs after I... Yeah, see, that reset. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to cut out a lot of footage. Uh, now now it's over in uh, Sizzling Sands or whatever that is, right? So that sucks. Let's go to Simmering Springs, though. Let's see if we can find Wiggle's stuff out to see. And like I said last episode, when we first read this out loud, like, it seems like it's, it's going to be relatively easy because there's, like, not that much stuff over here, right? So is it, is it just going to be... Yeah, boom, right there. So look at that. That's easy, but... Can I even launch myself? Like, I don't know. Can I just parkour up this? Hold on. Ah, uh, yeah. I might have to like, hold on. Maybe launch, launch pad myself up to this. Yep. And then parkour on these like, yeah, here we go. Yeah, look at this. Oh, wait. 
Oh, wait, no. Uh-oh. I, I, I think I have to lunch pad myself again. <laughs> Look at my big belly here. I can't jump high. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, I didn't even need the lunch pad right there. Awesome. Then, uh, boom, we got him. Yeah, look at that. Lost item for Wiggle. Already got that done. We got that done so quickly, guys. I don't know how many missions we got done this episode, but it seems like we're going to be as good, if not better, than last episode where we got like six missions done. It's got crazy. Is there anything, like, do I have to give anything to anyone specifically to finish any missions? This one's, oh yeah, we need to get Score Pepper and Score Pino. I forgot about that. Yeah. And we did that one. We did that one. And that one. Yeah, we got four. One, two, uh, three, four. Yeah, four missions done so far. Not bad. Uh, so let's read our mail real quick though. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a platinum award from Wiggle. Wow, that's crazy good. Darling, thank you so much. With my grumpy awards, I can prop up my instruments and hold doors open again. They're not good for much else. <laughs> and I got, I, I got a few comments from you guys commenting about the whole auto-tune meme I'm doing right here. I'm trying to do like a singing voice, okay? <laughs> for Wiggle. Platinum award. Yeah, so we got a platinum record right there. I forgot what song it was that she did that got a platinum record. Oh, a doily table. Ooh, so where, where can I put that, though? I don't know, because I like the shrabby bookcase and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully that's like another spot where I can put this doily table, though. Anyways, Gramble says, Ooh, ooh, Golden Queeble. It's like Charwee, but better. Thank you very much. Though that didn't stop the nightmares, because it turns out those are real. Chandler just keeps shaking me awake. <laughs> yeah, because he keeps sleepwalking, right? And next up. Mm. Oh, Wiggle. Yep. Yeah, oh, wow. We got a beach chair and umbrella. So does that. Oh, that probably just replaces the. Uh, what do we have over there? Like a weightlifting set or like a fountain? Or, I don't know what I have over there right now, but this is probably where that goes, right? Ah, darling, you're an inspiration as always. Seeing all those peel bug slices and vibrant colors, it brings a splash of style to this drab little town. <laughs> I don't know how that sounds with like auto tune all over it though. Ah. And next up, oh, yep, Snorpy. Oh, wow, we got two things from Snorpy. Looks like we got a lunch pad blueprint thing and a conspiracy board. <laughs> Brilliant work. You've nabbed those snack pods in record time. Though I suppose this was less of a test of the snack grappler than your sprinting ability. Either way, you have my thanks. And we got his conspiracy board and I feel like, didn't we already have that or am I thinking about something else? Uh, then next up, and yep, now we're getting new missions to replace all those missions that we just finished right there. Capture all the bug snacks in Flay. Did I not get them all in Flayer Falls? <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, there you go, boom. Much obliged, stranger. Seeing all the snacks you caught in Flavor Falls, I'm thinking I shouldn't farm there after all. Those green olives are a grumpin' menace. And we got a rustic bed, ooh. Although I do like the one that we got from Gramble last episode with like the little plush strabby inside of it. <laughs> Cause I've got a plush strabby in real life to match it. Although it's not knitted like it is in this though. And we got one from Triffany right here, which by the way, speaking of Triffany in nighttime, I did get a few comments for you guys uh, the last few episodes saying to go what do you guys say, like scan or take a picture or something like that of the cactus while at night and see what happens? So let's go do that and see if anything happens before we end off the episode. Oh, I was out studying some ancient maps of Frosted Peak and I found a list of bug snacks I don't recognize. Would you mind catching everything up there so we can compare notes? And then yeah, same thing there, but it's in Frosted Peak instead of Flavor Falls. And yep, yep, we finished it already. I think we caught everything, didn't we? Except for like Masa Supreme and then the uh, little little pizza roll things, as well as the uh, Mega Maki. And we already, no, oh, yeah, we didn't catch the, the Mini Makis. Uh, but those are like the only bug snacks we haven't caught yet. I guess we could do those a little bit later when we're not like full of uh, side quests to do here, right? <laughs> Ooh, thanks for catching all the snacks in Frosted Peak. Turns out the ancient list matches up to yours pretty well, aside from Agarol, which doesn't show up at all. Where are those actually from then? Ooh, I don't know, maybe somewhere else. Maybe another island, perhaps, ooh. And then we got hanging pots right there, interesting. And we got one from Chandlo here, ooh. Bro, are you ready to challenge yourself? The bug snacks on Broken Tooth are the biggest, strongest ones I've ever seen. If you want to reach your peak, you should catch all of them. And then, yeah, we already did this, though, right? Bro. Yeah, boom, there we go. <laughs> yeah, see, this is just going to show that we're catching, like, all the bug snacks. So that's good. Nice, bro. You pushed your limits and conquered the snacks of Broken Tooth. Now there's no challenge you can't face. You are the master of your destiny, dog. I can't do this like screaming Chandler voice too well, but it looks like a chandelier with like basketballs or something. I can't really tell from this this angle. Hey. It looking small like that. Another Triffany one right here. Golly, <laughs> lost item for Triffany. I wonder where it's. 
Oh yeah, it's, it's going to be like, so we can't get this one done like before the mission. Uh, so we have to go out the lost or go out the frosted peak and find like a bag or whatever, right? Oh, sorry to bother you, but could you help me out with something? My bag of bones wound up <laughs> at the very tippity top of frosted peak. Just a casual bag of bones, Triffany. Well, then again, she's always like using an actual skeleton arm as like a thinking thing. <laughs> she's always like slapping it against her other arm or whatever. <laughs> Oh, I'd be grateful if you could climb up there and grab it. Okay, we could probably do that next episode. Hey, buddy. And we got another Philbo mission right here. Ooh, feed an agarol to the mystery Krumpus. Oh, this has got to be Snorpy. Classified agarol. Yeah, okay, we can do this. <laughs> yeah, definitely going to do this next episode. Uh, we can get two, two birds with one stone over in Frosted Peak. Okay, buddy, I've got a request letter back from the bottom of the river. It's still a little soggy, but you can make it out, right? This is classified egg roll, yeah. That's obviously to feed one of the frozen egg roll guys to Snorpy. Ah. And, oh, did we, huh? I guess we already did this. I guess we already fed Snorpy an egg roll. I do not remember this, but uh, we got metal plating and metalworks flower from him. <laughs> Brilliant, you've deciphered my coded language and fed an egg roll to me, Snorpington Fizzlebean. Why did I want it, you are probably asking? Ah, chum, I am afraid that is still classified. And he gave me metal plating and metalworks flower. Interesting. <laughs> Donate a mystery buck sack to Gramble's farm. Golly, we have a lot of mail here to read this episode. <laughs> Ooh, I was hoping you might donate another snack soon. Something that flies around in the desert, but isn't sweet or meaty or any kind of cheap hoof. If you can think of something that fits, please send it my way. Is in the desert, isn't sweet, isn't meaty. Yeah, it, it can't be the Masa Supreme because it's got meat on it. It can't be the Buffalo Locust because it's a flying buffalo wing. Is it sweet so it's not a sweetie fly? Yeah, it's, it, it can't be a cheap hoof so it can't be the white or the yellow cheap hoofs. It's gotta be a lolov. Unless there's something else I'm not thinking of right now, huh? And yeah, we, we could easily do that next episode. Oh wait, no, never. Yeah, there, okay, there we go, Grandpa. I guess we already did it. <laughs> Ooh, a black lolif. It's perfect. The tongue's a little bit much, but it's cute in its own way. Thank you very much. And we got knit baskets from him. Hey, awesome. Buddy. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we're, like missions that we're finishing before we even realize it. So how many? I guess those also count as missions we did this episode. We probably did like ten of them this episode if you count all those, right? Oh, buddy, I found another wet letter in the riverbank. At least it's not totally destroyed, right? I'm sure you got. To handle sign flame and cheap hoof opportunity this sounds like cromdo and i've already fed he was full flame and cheap we already got this mission done yeah <laughs> yeah there it is right there bug juice dispenser <laughs> hey nice work there's nothing quite like a flame and cheap hoof that put a fire in my belly and a burn in my heart just keep clear of the outhouse tomorrow would you pal <laughs> he gave us a bug bug juice dispenser probably another thing you put outside right Man, another one here for Gramble. Golly, when I was living in Simmering Springs, I saw a snack that hid in the bushes and wouldn't come out no matter what. I'd love to see what it is if you could find one and donate it. I think we already donated the Shishka Bug, didn't we? Or the Tropica Bug. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, a Tropica Bug. It's just like a Shishka Bug, but with a tangy sea scent. Thank you so much. And we got a weather vane. Cool. Huh? And another Gramble mission here. Man. It'd be a shrabby, but different, not a rat. Wait, hold on. I've been thinking about another snack I'd love to have in my barn. It'd be like a shrabby, but different and not a raspy. That's too different. Does that make sense? What, what could this be? Not a shrabby, not a raspy, but something similar. Did we? Oh, the white. OK, yeah, we already donated the white shrabby. Yeah. Oh, of course, the white shrabby. It's perfect because it's exactly like a shrabby, but not too exactly. Uh, thank you very much. And we got a knit sprout mat. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, buddy. Man, another missionary. Man, this is like 10, 12, 13 straight minutes of just reading mail over here. This is crazy. Caramel pop tick cat. So we probably have to get a caramel pop tick and feed it to, to Triffany, huh? Well, buddy, I scooped another letter out of the river. Did we already do this? <laughs> All right. I guess? Oh, I guess we had to give it to Wambus, not Triffany. <laughs> okay. Much obliged, stranger. You might not reckon, but Caramel Pop Dick is Cat Triffy's favorite bug snack. Don't tell non-cactus Triffy. <laughs> and we got a wood panel print right there. Cool. Hey. And we got another one here from Befico this time. Golly. Hey, bestie. Have you ever heard of a crapple stack? That's when a crapple picks up another crap. We just saw that. 
You should totes make it happen and then scan it. Scan a crapple carrying another crapple. I haven't scanned it, have I? Yeah, that, that didn't count. I just I just looked at it. I didn't actually take a picture of it, unfortunately. Oh, I saw a picantus lose a fight to a flapjack rack and a small bug snack popped out of it. I've never seen one of them anywhere else. Could you donate whatever that was to my barn? Was that a, a talk roach or something else? I don't know. Donate the mystery bud. Did I already do that? Oh, I guess not. Oh, man, even a mission here for Agabel. Golly. So set via Philbo. <laughs> oh, a second interview. Oh, yeah, we already did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know, I don't know what an Eggabel voice would sound like. I'll just read this normally. Hey, I'm sorry if I was too cold to you before. I know you've been interviewing everybody, so if you got more questions for me, come see me on Frosted. But yeah, we already did that. So we, uh, Thanks for yep, the yep, help. yep. We finished the mission right there already. Medical egg rug with a little egg with a little crack in it with a band-aid going over it. And then an eggshell print probably for uh, the inside of our uh, hut over there, right? Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. I hate to admit it, but I'm pretty lonely up here and it feels nice just to talk. Eh, take care of yourself, all right? Sent via Phil Bell. Okay. Man, another egg about man. man. Wait, I already got knocked out of bounds by a bug snack. Does this, did I already, did this count already? I don't really see. Be sure to watch yourself around aggressive bug snack. Yeah, even up in Frosted Peak, we got hit by the, uh, was it the Scoopy Panoopy? Yeah. If you're not careful, they can knock you right off a cliff. Make sure to never do that, okay? Yeah, we already did that, though. Oh, wait, that didn't count. Well, I probably have to have that happen, like, after the mission already counted, but at least we got the, uh, all, all the mail done right there. God, wait. I guess you always have it, have five missions done, or five missions active at a time then, huh? So we gotta get knocked off the thing, and then we get like a cockroach or something and donate to Gramble's farm. And we also have to get a, a picture of a crapple with a crapple on top of him. Wish I did that earlier though. Then uh, Triffany, we need to get her, oh yeah, the bag of bones up there, as well as, which one is this? Oh, uh, yeah, the score pepper or scorpino. Uh, donate that to Shelda's little box of purity or whatever it is, right? But. Uh, there's Floofty. I don't think... Where's that cactus? I thought it was over here. Where did the cactus go? The shell's over there. Is it over here? Is he hiding it somewhere? Or... Oh yeah, there it is right there. So if I scan this now, Wampus gets lonely sometimes. Yeah, did not... Wait, yeah, I already did this. He comes over here and like talks to it or whatever. I thought he did. Is that what I'm missing out on? Or... I don't know. I feel like that, that we did this in season one, didn't we? Like we scanned the tr the cactus Triffany and then came over here because we had to like blackmail him for Befica or something like that, right? I don't know if that's what you guys were commenting about, but yeah, uh, that, that he he missed at the beginning of Bug Snacks. Uh, Triffany wasn't here and he got lonely. He missed Triffany, so we got a cactus and dressed him up, uh, dressed it up as Triffany, and uh, that, that's kind of part of his storyline, wasn't it? So, I don't know if that's what you guys were talking about, but uh, I guess we can go to Scorch Gorge while I do the outro and try and look for another hat bug snack, because we didn't get one this episode. Oh, look at the Queeble with the propeller! Oh, the golden Queeble, that is, with a propeller hat. Oh, Queeble. Queeble. And there's just a fried egg squirming around with a propeller. <laughs> Eggler. Eggler. <laughs> He's just... A Tiny little, like the tiniest little propeller hat on the egg yolk there. Oh, anyways, let's go over to uh, which one was it? Sizzling Sands, I think it was. Let me double check. That's Sizzling Sands, yes. Okay, let's go over there, see if we'd find anything with a hat on it. Uh, and I guess while we're there, yeah, is there something flying over here? I, yeah, yeah, we already got that mission done. Yeah, the Black Lull of yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the Master Supreme. Now, I don't know if it could be on a boss, surely it can't be on a boss, right? It's not on a Lollov again, yeah, it's not on a Lollov. There's the Cheezer. Yeah, it's not on him. There's a Brain Picantis, doesn't have anything on him. Whoa, that's a crown on the Spuddy! There's a crown on that Spuddy! How do I get the Spuddy? I, I, I guess, hold on, yeah. We could, we could always just trip shot it, right? Oh, and then he knocked out the Cheezer right there. <laughs> hold on, so let's do this. Let's get the Spuddy over here. It's actually covered in ketchup. Hold on. Oh, whoops. There you go. Is he coming? No! Man, he's really knocking out that, that cheeser for no reason. <laughs> Alright, come here. Come here, Spuddy. Over here. Leave the cheeser alone! Cheeser! <laughs> Alright, I might have to... And he's got the pr... Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. Uh... Ah, no, I'm on fire! Uh, what's he, what's he called? Where, where, where's the Sody D? Sody D, come over here and spray him! Is he going to explode, or...? Nah. Oh, wait, oh! Oh yeah, okay, he's about to explode, so we're going to get that thing for Gramble here in just a minute. But I still need to get the spud- oh, he's all the way over there now. Man. Ah, 
praying for Candace. Okay, okay. Nah, he's all the way over here. Man. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I, if I let them run into each other, one of them's they're going to knock each other out or something, right? Okay, the Candace just exploded. Are he? Okay, there you go. Whoa! Oh, yeah, Cheap Hoof comes out of him. Oh, here we go, here we go, we got him. Spuddy. Spuddy. And we got the loaded Spuddy with the crown, or? Yeah, the royal crown, cool. So which, which one? So that's how you get the Cheap Hoof here, but yeah, I don't think he wants the Cheap Hoof. Let me pull that up again. Find a flapjack rack and a small, okay, small bug. It's gotta be the Tockroach. Well, the cheese are just good. Yeah, it's gotta be the Tockroach. So uh, let me get this, let me put hot sauce on it. That's gotta drive them over, right? Here we go, here we go, yep. There you go. Let me. Talk roach. Talk roach. So that, that finished his mission, did it? Or, uh. Oh, I still. Yeah, I still need to donate it. Yeah. I was waiting for a pop up right there. I guess I'll, I'll donate it right now. And then I'll have to do the uh, end off the episode because I already got the hat right there, too. And then we can test out and see what the. Uh... Wait, I just got an achievement right there. Dapper Capper. Hold on. Shift F3. What does that do? Can you guys see this? I don't know if this is a recording. Uh. Achievements. Cap, dapper capper. Collect 10 hats. Ooh. Okay. Let me take a screenshot of this so you guys can see. Did that work? If that didn't, I don't know if that worked or not, but uh, we got an achievement right here. Dapper a capper. Collect 10 hats. So that's pretty cool. So that actually show goes to, oh, whoops. Now I'm like moving around without me like holding any buttons. So something, something got glitched right there. <laughs> whoops. Anyways. Oh, Frosty Peak has the next hat. Uh, anyways, I don't know what's going on right now. I can't. Okay. Here we go. I can't stop. Oh my gosh. The sweetie fly right there with the propeller. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, I was going to donate the talk, or the uh, talk, yeah, talk roach. Uh, where is it on this? Wait, what? Did I get, man, now it's like, gl I can't like scroll up or anything like that. Can I like <laughs> leave and come back or something? I don't know, one of my keys is stuck or something right now. I don't know what's going on right now, you guys. Yeah, I keep moving around without any keys. Something stuck. Something is glitched right now. I don't know what's going on, but uh, either way, I guess I'll just do my outro right now, and then maybe next episode we'll donate the talk roach because something's super duper glitched right now, not letting me do anything. So, anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome, oh wait, no, are we getting our? Oh yeah, awesome! We got our thing upgraded. Hey buddy, I've got another surprise for you. Let's go see your hut. I lifted your crib, dog! <laughs> Woo! That's right! You've got a two-floor apartment now! You're really moving up in the world, huh? I was just thinking you've gotten so many presents from the rest of us, you are probably running out of room. <laughs> yep. I even asked Chandlo for a third floor, but he said something about restricted airspace. Uh... Philbro, as mayor of Snacksburg, you really ought to read up on our zoning guidelines. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do that. In the meantime, buddy, I can't wait to see what you do with your new place. Grump, yeah, dog! Especially after we send you even more stuff! <laughs> They've been yelling over here so much Wiggle got woken up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm, the key is still glitch. I'm not, I'm not even touching the keyboard right now, and it's making me walk around right now, so this is super glitch right here, but... Uh, next episode, we'll definitely have to look at the apartment or the hut over here a little bit better whenever my keys aren't glitched. Uh, what in the world's happening right now? And what, what button is that? Oh, what in the world? There's like a controller? Symbols now? I have to hit what? I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, anyways, how do I go upstairs? Is there a staircase on the outside? Here we go. Now, what was the second? How, how many How many places do I have to build over here now, though? Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got a lot of room. Okay, good. Uh, we'll worry about this next episode because my keys are stuck or something. Something's glitched right now. So, <laughs> Anyways, I don't know where I was in the outro, but uh, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Bug Snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. Oh, sweetie fly. <laughs> and I'll see you guys here next time with some more bug snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks, where hopefully my keys aren't glitched anymore. <laughs> oh, bye there. Oh.